Okay, good morning class. So at this point, uh, I've explained the sequence and series, exercise, the examples for exercise one and exercise two. But at that point, it was load shedding. So uh, I'm just going to do this uh, recording for this, uh, the examples for exercise one, followed by exercise two. Okay. So at this point, we spoke about the, when a, a sequence is arithmetic, and uh, we looked also where the terms are geometric okay so uh, we spoke about the general term and all of those things at this point here so we're looking at the worked example on page this is on page uh, four the example on page four and page six is where the exercise is on okay so this is on page four from the platinum textbook Okay, so uh, we are still consider the arithmetic sequence 2, 6, 10, and 14. What is the common difference? So how do we get the common difference? We move from one term to the next, so we're adding 4 there. We're adding 4, we're adding 4, and so on. So what is the common difference? So D is equal to 4. Number 2. State the value of the next two terms in the sequence. If I add 4, I'm going to get then 18. If I add 4, I'm going to get 20. Okay. In question three, we are told determine the formula for the sequence. So since it's arithmetic, it's going to be Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. As we know, the A is your first term. My first term is 2 plus N minus 1 times 4. Get rid of the brackets. So it's going to be 4N minus 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Okay, number 4. Question 4, determine the value of the 25th term. So that is simple. So if I see here, N, I put a 25. So there goes 25 and 25. So it's T25 is equal to 4 times 25 minus 2, which is 98. Okay. Let's look at question 5. Question 5 says, which term has a value of 46? Which term of the sequence has a value of 46? So T, N is equal to 46. What's the nth term? 4N minus 2. So 4N minus 2 is equal to 46. So 4N is equal to 46 plus 2, which is 48. So N is then equal to 12. Therefore, the 12th term is going to give you... And answer 46. If you extend that pattern to the 12th term, the 12th term will have a value of 46. Question 6. We have to briefly explain why the value of n for that formula can only be a whole number. Because it's referring to a position number. Okay? So somebody can't stand at um, negative 5. So therefore n can't be negative 5. Okay, nobody can send a negative uh, fifth position. Or nobody can send a 3.25, position 3.25. So therefore, n always has to be an element of natural numbers. Okay, because it denotes um, position number. Okay. Then the last question here says, is 72 a term of the sequence? Justify your answer. So we know that is the a term in the sequence of 72. So we check, we say 4n minus 2 is equal to 72. 4n has to be 74. Divided by 4 both sides. So n is equal to, uh, 4 goes into 7 once, carry 3. Uh, 4 goes into 32, 8 times, so it's 18.5. We don't get an 18.5 position. So therefore, uh, t n would never be equal to 72. 72 is never a term in the sequence. Why? Because n is an element of natural numbers. Okay. n has to be an element of natural numbers and 18.5 of course is not a natural number. Okay. Now we're looking at work example 2. And work example 2 is on page um, page 5. Example 2 on page 5. Example 
two on page five, we are told consider the arithmetic sequence. You've got three um, x minus one. Then we have five x minus two, and we've got four x plus three. Determine the value of x. Since it's arithmetic and arithmetic progression, we know it follows a uh, the the common difference, which is t three minus t two equals t two minus t one. Okay. So that is T1, T2, T3. So it's going to be 4x plus 3 minus term 2, 5x minus 2 equals 5x minus 2 minus term 1, which is 3x minus 1. Why do I have a bracket around um, term four, uh, 2 and term 1? It's going to be more than one term following a negative sign. So, uh, in this case, I need to get rid of the brackets, multiply out, which now gives us 4x plus 3 minus 5x plus 2 equals 5x minus 2 minus 3x plus 1. Add like them, so that's going to give us minus x plus uh, 5 is equal to uh, 2x minus 1. I didn't need to do this. I'm going to go on straight and say negative 3x is equal to negative 6. X, of course, is equal to 2 of them. Okay. So we just solve for X there. Then in number 2, we are told, if X equal to 2, which now confirms our previous answer there, determine the value of the first three terms in the sequence and then determine the formula for the nth term of the sequence. So what do we have here? Is uh, um, the first three terms. So we give us here x, I put a 2. Okay? So that's simply going to read 3 times 2 minus 1. I'm putting it in here now. Yeah? Then you've got 5 times 2 minus 2. 4 times 2 plus 3. Okay, that now simplifies into uh, 6 minus 1 is 5. That is uh, 10 is 8, 12, 13, 14. And now 8 is 11. Okay. So that's the first three terms of the sequence. In the, the nth term of the sequence, how do we move from one term to the next? We are adding 3 over the time. Okay, which is my, my d value. So tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 t. Your a is your first term, in this case it's 5, so 5 plus n minus 1 times 3. To simplify that, it will be 3n minus 3 plus 5 will be positive. Okay, the full video to this lesson can be found in the description box below. Okay. The next question says, uh, we, are, we are told that Determine the value of the 15th term of the sequence. Determine the value of the 15th term of the sequence. So, what we have here is T15. We have us here in a bit of 15. 3 times 15 plus 2. 3 times 15 is 45 plus 2 is 47. So, T15 is 47. Then in number 4, we are told determine which term has a value of 302. So the nth term is 302. So we say 3n plus 2 is equal to 302. Now we solve for n. 3n is equal to 300. n of course is equal to 100. Therefore the hundredth term is equal to 302. Okay. The next question says, I uh, need this here. Need that nth term is three n plus two. Huh? We need the general term t is equal to three n plus two. The question says is one hundred and fifteen a term in the sequence? Justify your answer fully. So your nth term is one fifty. So you say 3n plus 2 is equal to 150. So 3n is equal to 140. Right. Divided by 3 because 12, 2. Uh, 27 is going to be 9 and a third. It's 49 and a third. 
So can that be the case? No. Why? Because the n has to be an element of natural numbers. Okay. So therefore, um, 150 would never be a term in the sequence. Okay. So with this, you should be able. So with this um, information, you should be able to do exercise one. <coughs>